Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a recording for the Daily Reminder Network. The gift of food is something that we take for granted. Every one of us eats sometimes more than thrice a day, sometimes once a day. But when we eat, we forget to think what exactly are we doing? Where did the food come from? Who is the one who provided that food? If we pause for a moment on a daily basis just to ponder over these issues, we will realize the great gift of the Almighty upon us, the gift of food. This is why before starting to partake from the meal, it's important for us to say the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we take a careful look, we will realize that the food we have in front of us, the effort we have made for that to be in front of us is very, very little. If we take a look at the seeds that were planted, they were not planted by us in most cases. And even if they were, where did the seed come from? It was the gift of Allah, the miracle of Allah, the plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And therefore the plant grew. And when it grew, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew that this particular piece of fruit or vegetable or something to eat is going to this particular person. And sometimes it traveled the globe. The rice we have sometimes is grown in Far East Asia. It's grown in different places and it comes to us. And at the same time, we happen to eat it and we forget to say the name of Allah. That is not good enough. We need to ponder over the gift of Allah. Bismillah, in the name of Allah. That is the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The teaching that we have been instructed to follow before we commence a meal. Similarly, whilst we are eating, we should follow the etiquettes of eating. We do not have to eat too much and we do not eat too little. We have that which is correct. We chew the food correctly and at the same time we thank Allah as we're eating. It is preferable to abstain from speech that is unnecessary whilst we are eating because it is also an act of worship. To be eating in order to gain the energy to be able to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For this reason, concentrate while you're eating. Ponder over the gift of Allah. If this happens, our Iman will be strengthened so many times a day. And this is a gift of the Almighty that many take for granted. Similarly, once we have completed, we should realize there is a dua, there is a supplication that was made and taught by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam for similar reasons to thank Allah, to praise Allah, to thank him for the food, for the drink he has blessed us with. And at the same time to ensure that the energy that is that comes about from the food we have eaten is utilized in the correct manner. Many people happen to gobble their food up and forget to even thank Allah when they're finished eating. And what happens, the energy sometimes of that particular food or derived from the food is utilized in wrong things. And this would happen if a person is oblivious of the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to say, One of the many supplications that was taught by him, and he says, all praise is due to Allah who has blessed me with this food without any strength or energy or effort on my part. And here I am consuming this morsel of food. My brothers, my sisters, dear viewers, ensure that the food you are eating is halal. It is permissible. It is pure. It is good. Remember to take the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the beginning and to thank him at the end. For indeed, that is a way that we will be able to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakumullahu khaira. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.